Hello everybody, it's John again, the Vintage Geek, and I welcome you to take another look inside the Vintage Geek's Toy Room. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> Omega Supreme crammed in the back. I gotta get some risers for him so he can be more visible. But today, we're gonna look at a new Marvel Legends X-Men figure, Weapon X. This is so awesome. I haven't seen one of these, like, probably since the days of Toy Biz. Here's the packaging. It has the X on the top. Weapon X, Wolverine, standing inside his nice bubble name on the bottom. On the sides, the box has this beautiful artwork of Weapon X going berserk. <laughs> and on the back is the full image of Weapon X Wolverine going crazy. This is so cool. I love it, I love it, I love it. The Weapon X program experiments on humans and mutants alike, including Wolverine, who undergoes a brutal process that bonds Admantium to his skeleton. To build the figure is Caliban. And there he is. You can get Gambit, Beast, Weapon X, Forge, Blink, Jubilee, and Skull Crusher. Skull Buster. Sorry, right? Skull Buster. Sorry. That's Caliban's leg real quick, just so you can see it. Wolverine looks really cool. He's got this alternate head, which looks great. It's like Berserker Wolverine screaming with his hair all crazy and everything. <laughs> Don't mess with me, bub. So Wolverine's helmet looks great. Let's get some close-ups here for you. So he's got like straps and things over his chest and shoulders. A belt with gadgets on it. Batteries and control units and whatnot to keep him alive or, uh, you know, passive or under control, right? It's all designed to keep him under control, right? The detail on this guy is great. Like I said, he, he, he reminds me of the Toy Biz one we had when we were, I don't know, in the 90s there. But a massively greater version, you know. It's like like super detailed and awesome. <laughs> he reminds me of the comics and the 90s cartoon show. So it's a very good mix of those influences. The red piping and tubules are just great. He's got giant calf muscles. <laughs> He's got like fake fur, like painted on. Like it's his arm and legs have um, that furry look to them, you know, which, which they've painted on. They've done a really nice paint app on this guy. So it's not just a plain, you know, skin toned figure. It's got some details and the hair is kind of a neat touch it's funny i wouldn't have thought of doing that i don't know wolverine this red pipe can pop out of his head so you can kind of just take it out right there right out of that hole that one there and then leave it off to the side you can pop go ahead and just pop his head off and you can put on the scowling howling mad i popped it on off off camera there and now here we go the mad berserker wolverine weapon x and what i did with the red tube that went in his head i just stuck it ugh, sorry i just stuck it underneath the one of the shoulder straps that's on that strappy thing and it kind of you could pretend it's kind of going into his neck or something after that but I didn't see any hole on his head or anything to pop it into. And I didn't want to risk trying to pop it out of the mechanical unit on his belt because I was worried it might break. It didn't just it didn't immediately pop out. So I didn't want to break it. <laughs> so well, that's what I'm gonna do with it. Well guys, there you go. Weapon X. Thanks a lot for watching. 
I really want to say thank you to all the new subscribers we've got over the last couple weeks. It seems like every day there's two or three more new subscribers. So, you know, that's that's more than I really ever thought I'd get. So thank you so much. All right, guys. Have a great day. The Vintage Geek is out.